is sick and tired of germs or of quarantine because nobody wants to wear this mask all the time. Hello my favorite people. I'm so glad that y'all have watched this video today. I'm missing y'all and I wish things were different but for now we're just going to do it this way and I hope to see y'all Tuesday on our Zoom meeting at 2 o'clock. Alright so I just want to let y'all know that Patricia is doing well. She's blooming. She's looking real good, staying real healthy. I have not forgotten to water her. All right, I want you to close your eyes and to think about when we did our first bread experiment. I you to think about it. We used sandwich bread. We did not use homemade bread. It had preservatives filled in it and a lot of chemicals. I want you to think about that for a minute. Think about how long you said you thought it was going to mold, all that stuff. And then we saw, flash forward to two months later, two months and a few days, we saw that it still didn't have any mold on it. It was hard as a rock, and they did not even mold. So we flipped our experiment, and we did it a little bit different. We did my mom's homemade yeast rolls made from scratch, no preservatives, all it has is yeast, sugar, flour, salt, oh, oil. Um, I have a little different audience today. It's my parents instead of you guys, but still missing you. Anyways, so we used my mom's homemade rolls, and those were the only ingredients in there. No preservatives, no chemicals, no nothing. And we my few students that were there the two days that we went, the week that we got out for quarantine, um, you saw that there was a speck of mold on the bread and they were starting to get, they were already hard and they were already starting to mold. That only took a week and six days. So think about that. Fresh, preservative free, nothing in them. These are fresh right now, so that's why I'm showing you these. But no preservative-free bread, nothing bad in them. It took a week and six days. But our bread, our sandwich bread that had preservatives and chemicals in it, that took two months, over two months. Wow. All right, so now I want you to evaluate our bread that we put in the bags before we left. So this is them. I think I could, hmm, you'll be able to see. You can see the covers. All right, so this one is our fresh and untouched piece of bread. Remember, I did not even touch it. I picked it up in the bag, put it in the bag, did not touch it at all. That was fresh and untouched. Number two, we wiped it on the handrails. <laughs> we wiped it on the handrails. Um, and then number three, we wiped it on the Chromebooks. Number four, this is when we all touched it with our dirty unwashed hands. Number five is when we hand sanitize our hands real good and then touch that piece of bread with our hand sanitized hands. And then six, number six, is when we washed our hands with soap and water and then we touched the bread. So obviously, you can see that either way, doesn't matter how clean our hands were, how clean the surface was, it doesn't matter. It can still grow mold because mold is particles too small to be seen and we don't know when they're going to form or how they're going to form. That's just like our experiment. We did not know. So we exposed these to the air. We put these, we exposed them to the air and I actually zipped the bags closed tight when we left for quarantine or whatever. Um, I They were exposed to the air when before for the first week and six days. Then we, I zipped them up and I kept them in the closet where we had the other bread and they did this. So I brought them back home with me um, and then I'm now showing you what they look like. So you can tell which ones molded the quickest. Um, obviously since mold starts as green and then it gets brown and yellow over time. Um, the fresh untouched, I think that this is probably because it was exposed to air and there's already germs in the air. So it kind of reacted to that. Um, the one that wi was wiped on the Chromebooks. I looked at this, my students that were there for the two days, y'all saw the mold that was already growing. 
and it was growing on this one. This was the first one to, to grow mold. So the one that we wiped on the Chromebooks, that obviously says that we had a lot of germs on those Chromebooks because a lot of students were using those every day. And even however many times I Lysol them down, y'all Lysol wiped them down, it still doesn't matter. They're still going to have germs on it because we have germs on our hands from touching different things. So that one molded the quickest. And then the next one, this is crazy. Y'all are going to be mind blown. The next one that molded was hand sanitized hands. What does that tell you? I want you to think about it. And then I want you to say it out loud. What does it tell you? And that was going to happen. <laughs> it tells you that even though we have not, we just hand sanitize our hands and hand sanitizer is supposed to kill all the germs on your hands all the time. Hand sanitizer doesn't always do the job. It doesn't. And that's, that's okay because we're still getting, like the bottle says, we're still getting 99.9% .9 of the germs off, but not all of them. There's still that 1%. And you don't know how strong of a germ that is because germs are particles too small to be seen. We don't know where they're floating. We don't know where they are, but they're there. So they're in the air around us. That's why it's so important to Lysol down things after a lot of people have touched them. I spray down your chairs, your desk, my classroom doorknobs every day when y'all leave. Um, I wipe down the desk with Lysol. It's very important. So um, while you're at home, just make sure that you clean. And if you touch something a lot, then you want to keep that spot clean as well. All right. And then I think the third one that started to mold was the one that we wiped on the handrails. Other than that, they all take their course and they all mold over time. So you can tell which ones are like really gross. I mean, they are molded from the inside out. So this one's super gross. I'll actually take this one off and let you see. Super yellow, super green. Think about if we just left these out maybe like on a desk, not even in a bag, how gross that would have been. It would have spread everywhere. So I want you to think of a real life scenario. If this is real life, I want you to think of a real life scenario that you can do at home. I want you to research what will mold quick. I want you to look things up and maybe even write them down and pick from whatever you want to do. I, we chose homemade yeast rolls because bread does have a tendency to mold quick. Think of something that is preservative free, is maybe a vegetable or a fruit that can mold quickly. Um, strawberries are like my favorite fruit and those mold very fast in the, in the refrigerator. So if you wanted to do strawberries, you can even expose them to different germs or different surfaces like we did. So we exposed it to the handrails, to the Chromebook. You can expose it to the doorknobs, um, to chairs. You can expose it to tables. If you're dining room table, you can expose it there. Maybe the handle of the refrigerator that you pull open all the time. Um, maybe even your phone, because a lot of us don't think to clean our phone. And I've really, really tried to start cleaning my phone a lot because we take it everywhere. We pick it up, whatever we're touching, and it just gets germs on it. That's just the way it is. So, I want you to think of a real life scenario where you can use this, and if you would like to, you can take pictures, tell me what you're doing, and then wait until it molds and think about how long it would take. So, before we did this in our science notebooks, we wrote down um, our observations on how long we thought that it would take to mold. So, you can do that. You can do that, write it down, maybe observe what you're doing a little bit. If you want to do some research and just tell me, hey, I researched this and this is how long it says it's going to mold. And then you do your own experiment. So that will be, it fell again. That would be a good real life scenario that you can show me. You can do this at home with anything. Um, if you need help on trying to think of something to do, you can email me and we can talk about it and kind of think about your ideas and go from there. Um, also, this, which fell again, this is your example of high quality work. You know, we talked about how your work should be high quality. This is an example of your high quality work. 
and I know that y'all can do this because y'all are all so smart and we actually did this together. All I did was y'all told me where to wipe the bread the first time in January. Y'all helped me figure all that out, put it in the bags, pass it around. This was our experiment together. So this, you know exactly how to do high quality work just like this. And I know that you can do it because your brains just amaze me every day with how smart you are. So um, if you want to do that, <clears throat> email me the pictures of before and after. Tell me how many days it took. Anything else that you want to tell me, what you observed during that, which one was the first one to mold. Um, you can even wash your hands um, and then touch it or touch it with unwashed hands, whatever you want to do. You can do it different from this, or you can do it with the same things that we did. Chromebooks, handrails, fresh untouched piece, um, hand sanitized piece, whatever you want to do. Just let me know. Send those pictures to me. So, I miss y'all, and I hope that this quarantine is going well for you all. And like I said at the first of the, of the video, be at our Zoom meeting because all the fifth grade teachers want to see you. We will all be there. And it is April 14th, Tuesday at 2 p.m. So while all this is going on, think about the germs that we've seen being exposed. Think of how sick and tired you are just sitting at home, not having much to do. And I want you to, when you have a chance to clean up wherever you think that you touch the most or that is exposed to the most germs, because just like our classroom and just like your homes and your areas, we want to keep this a no germ zone. Miss y'all. See y'all soon.